cold. I forgot that part of this uh, going to the sun road closes till 6 a.m. So I was going to do a hike for sunrise up at Logan Pass, but because it's closed till 6 a.m. and it takes another like almost hour to get up to Logan Pass, I didn't have time to do the hike, so I just stopped at one of the overlooks. It was a pretty sunrise, though. So. Now I am headed to Mini Glacier. I'm doing the hike to Cracker Lake. It's one of my favorites in Glacier. I think it's about 12 miles, 13 miles round trip. It's got a couple thousand feet elevation gain, but over that amount of distance, it's really not bad. Time to start shedding layers. Tell me it doesn't look a little fake. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm so happy. I just love this place so much. All packed up. Time to hike back. Make some dinner, lunch, whatever time I get back. As usual, I didn't drink water on the trail. Well, I drank this much water on the trail. I'll get better at that, but it was a good hike. It's like the perfect hike because it's long enough so that you really feel like you did something. It has enough elevation gain so you get a good workout, but doesn't destroy you. <laughs> and also you're hiking towards something, which helps when there's like a goal at the end. I'm not a big fan of hikes that kind of just meander. I don't really see the point of them. The only reason I do them is if I need exercise and I haven't done anything else and there's nothing else to do and I'm like, okay, I'll do that. I'm gonna head, I actually paid for a campsite tonight, which is crazy, it was $25, but they have showers, and I desperately need that, so we're gonna head to the campsite, make some food, shower, there's a fly.
supply spotter. I have an empty box of Triscuits, though. Can I? Hello. That didn't work. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. Hopefully the fly flies out the window. Most important part, basil. It's like comfort food. So good. I checked out the shower earlier. It's a little rough, but I can't really complain. I mean, I can, but a shower is a shower. <laughs> the only thing that would make Glacier a perfect park is if Kalispell had a Planet Fitness. Because then I wouldn't have to worry about showers. I could stay here as long as I want. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to finish this. Check back in with you guys. When I shower. Not when I shower, but when I'm going to shower. Well, the dark abyss is <laughs> where I'm going to shower. I showered. I'm so happy and clean. I showered back in the car. In to the back. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Good night. Don't have anything to say besides good night. All right, time to see if we can find a sunrise. I don't know why there's a gate. I'm hoping it opens. Destroyed my finger, but I got it open.
That really hurt. What is this place? I don't have band-aids, so um, I have paper towel wrapped around it because it won't stop bleeding. I mean, maybe it's a hot take, but I've never, I've never been to a campground that has gates like that. Usually they're pretty open because people camping and, you know, national parks are coming and going and sometimes they want to get up for sunrise and leave and all of a sudden there's a huge gate in their way. Which you can open, but, you know, it, it's very heavy and if you don't exactly know what you're doing, you're going to injure your finger like I did. <laughs> but that's my only complaint about the campground. I'm just confused why they have these big gates that they close. Also, I was trying to I was trying to leave at like 7 a.m., which I feel like is pretty reasonable. You would think they'd be open by then, but enough complaining. I got them open. I saw sunrise. It was fine. But thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.